Live from Studio 3K and Rockefeller Center, you're watching Sports Final on NBC for New York. Here's your host, John Chandler. Welcome back. You know, it's not just the Yankees and the Mets sitting in first place this summer. The New York Red Bulls rolled into the weekend to top the MLS standings. They've been playing great soccer lately. Played to a 1-1 draw last night in Cincinnati. Defender John Tolkien kind enough to join us after the late night slash early morning arrival from that. Never easy to get the turnaround from the road. So I appreciate you being here. Yeah, no problem. Um, we had a tough game on the road yesterday, but uh, it's great to be here and get ready for the next game. Cincinnati's a tough place to come away with a win you got to be pleased with a 1-1 draw, right? Yeah, I think, you know, with the way the season's going so far, we're a little bit disappointed. Um, we feel like we could, could have stolen more points from that, yeah. that game. But every, anytime you go on the road, if you get a point, you know, it's never a bad result. So we're happy. And you get a big goal from Lewis Morgan, who has been doing a, a few of those throughout the season. What's it like playing with him? Yeah, he's class. You know, um, just to be able to share the field with him, I love it. Yeah. I can learn off of him. He's played over in Europe. He's got big-time experience. So, um I just like to pick his brain, you know, do the little nuances that he does. Um, and, yeah, he's scoring so many goals for us right now, and he's really helping the team out. He was a much heralded arrival back in December. But to actually have him out there, what kind of a lift has he provided this team and young players like yourself? Yeah, I think not only on the field how good he is, but off the field. He's such a good person. Um, he's amazing to have around the locker room. Yeah. Um, all the guys love him and he just brings that spirit up. And um, yeah, obviously on the field, you can see what he does. He's scoring a lot of goals, a lot of important goals, um, assists as well. So we're really happy with him. All right, I've been told I need, I need to call you J-Mai, not John, right? And what's the story behind that? Yeah, so um, anybody watching this, uh, I don't really know who John is. <laughs> <laughs> Please call me J-Mai. Um, it came when I was really young. My uncle out of nowhere was like, yeah. J-Mai, um, and it stands for John Michael. So you, you spell it capital J, capital M, lowercase i. Um, I guess it makes sense. And but, that's um, it. Can we get this on the back of your jersey? I tried, and apparently you I, can't it's not it. allowed to. Yeah, oh, apparently I can't. On, I, I've, I've tried. We need, we need to work with that. Apparently, like, what I signed off my contract as is what I have to put on the back of my jersey. So you got to go with it. Yeah. So John told but, me um, it is. Yeah, j Mai's just always stuck ever since, so that's yeah. who I am. Uh, do you feel like you're growing into – whatever you envision as a soccer player, whether it's Jay Mai or John Tolkien, yeah. becoming the player that you envisioned as you, as you come up through this. Yeah. Because it's happened so fast for you, really, if yeah. you think about it. It has been really quick, and um, you know, I never really would have dreamed of it like this when I was younger. You can dream it, but you never really think it would come to fruition. So um, it's really cool for me, but uh, yeah, I think the Jay Mai thing is starting to catch on. <laughs> it's catching on. Yeah, not I, just in Jersey, not yeah, just back in Chatham. Yeah, I was uh, when we had our game in LA. Um, I heard the announcer tried to pronounce it. He said Jamai, but um, <laughs> I'm happy he tried at least. And I think words getting around. <laughs> okay. Is this been surreal for you? Has it been kind of a, I mean, a, a Jersey kid growing up around the Red Bulls, and here you are, starring as a defender for them. Yeah, 100 um, percent. Like you said, you know, I grew up around them, uh, always going to games. Um, I used to be the ball boy for some of the guys right. I play with now. So that's pretty crazy to share the field with them now. But um, being able to play in the stadium and especially a game like we have this coming this coming week against NYCFC, you yeah. know, that's you know, those are the games you dream of. And hopefully I'll be uh, we'll be able to get the win and hopefully I'll be able to take part in it. So it's a rivalry game, obviously. Do you treat that as such, or do you have to kind of look at it as, as just another game? Now, I see the way you're nodding already. <laughs> you're, ready. you're already amped for this game. Yeah, That's okay. so um, I don't know if you remember our, our Open Cup game against sure. them, the 3 nothing game. Yeah, it was a little scrappy there. Um, I drew a red card. A lot of cards are going to be coming this game. Okay. Um, it's not the most pretty game, but, you know, at, temperatures are high. Everybody's pumped up. You know, it's just going to be like that. Um, the boys will be ready, though. Yeah, they'll be ready. <laughs> How hard was it or motivating was it to watch them win the MLS Cup? Yeah, um, I can remember sitting on my couch. You know, I was like, there's just no way they're going to win this thing. Um, and I texted some of the guys that were returning for the next year. I was like, we got to show them what's up next year. Um, and do you think you're doing that? Yeah. I mean, we didn't we didn't lose to them last season as well. So we're kind of like you guys couldn't even beat us. But um, yeah, I think th I think this year, you know, that's in the back of everybody's mind, and I think that adds for extra motivation, extra fuel, you know? Let's take a look at the standings, because you see how close it is there in the MLS. 
at the top. There you are, 33 points, Philadelphia Union, Philly, what they did to D.C. the other uh, night. They dismantled Seven them. Seven to nothing. <laughs> and then you've got New York City FC right there with 32 points. So it is tight. It is heated at the top. Does that raise your level of play? For sure it does. Um, I think this month is so important for us. You can see how close those top four uh, spots are. Not even top four, like the top ten, honestly. Yeah. It's like a six-point gap. Um, and I think these next stretches of games are going to be huge for us. If we can you know, separate ourselves a little bit, I think that will set us up perfectly yeah. for playoffs. Atmospheres at these games, and certainly a playoff game atmosphere in Harrison would be amazing to experience. And I think this is a really crucial time for, for soccer. At least it feels that way, especially big announcement, World Cup 2026 coming yeah. to New York. We're going to have a game here in 2026. I talked to your teammate Aaron Long about that yeah. on the day the announcement happened. Uh, what is the level of excitement for you guys around that news? I think it just shows how much the game is growing here. Um, and for it to be in our hometown here, um, it's amazing. Obviously, he should be a part of that World Cup squad. So for him, it's amazing. We're all so happy for him. Um, he's a great player. But um, yeah, I just think you can see the game is growing here. And it, it helps everyone, you know? And uh, we just love to see it. You see yourself playing on the international stage sometimes? I know, they, I know they've reached out. <laughs> yeah. Um, hopefully soon. Um, just doing the best I can, you know? I have that mentality of just work every day, show up every day, and I think it's gotten me to where I am so far, so hopefully it'll take me there. All right, so before we let you go, you got to explain one thing to me. What happened to the mullet? <laughs> Funny story, uh, in Cincinnati yesterday, I actually, uh, there was a fan that just wouldn't leave me alone. He's like, why did you cut your hair? Why did you <laughs> I was like, I thought you were supposed to be like, like chirping me today, but he really liked the hair. Yeah. And he was just like, why'd you do it? Um, I gotta be honest, I loved the mullet. Yeah, I mean, people don't even recognize me anymore, honestly. Um, I had to get rid of it. It okay. was just getting too long. Um, the heat, it, it's a lot to deal with. Um, Understood. And, you know, I think it's good to reset sometimes. So All I'm right. gonna let it grow. Hey, listen, you've been playing well without it. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, whatever it is, it's working. It might be, yeah, but um, it'll come back. All right. It'll be good. Jay Mai, thanks for the time. Thank you very really much. Really appreciate, appreciate you having it. Best of luck as you face the defending MLS Cup mm, champs mm -hmm. a week from tonight. Yes, sir. It's going to be fun. Yes, All thank right. you very much. John Tolkien, defender from the New York Red Bulls. Still more to come here on Sports Final. We've got some business still to take care of, so stay with us as the show rolls on. But as we go to break, it is time for the Ford Drive of the game. And how about this moment from the WNBA All-Star Game today in Chicago? Take a look at Sylvia Foles. She's all alone on the break. Is she going to throw it down? Oh, yes, ma'am. That is the perfect exclamation point to the final All-Star game of her brilliant 15-year career. What a moment for her. Hey, the Liberty Sabrina Ionescu scores 19 points. Team Wilson beat Team Stewart 134-112. For great deals on Ford's full line of trucks and SUVs, visit your local Ford store or check out buyfordnow.com today.